homeostasis is a compound word, meaning homeo, similar, stasis, standing still. So homeostasis is a regulating process to maintain the body's internal environment in response to a change in a controlled condition. For example, this could be an external change such as temperature or an internal change such as blood pressure. Homeostasis can be seen as a feedback system or a feedback loop in which a change in control condition can be restored. This feedback loop is made up of three main components, the receptor, the control center, and the effector. The receptor, number one, monitors the change in the control condition and sends an afferent signal, which could be a hormone or a nerve signal, to the control center, number two. The control center evaluates the signal from the receptor and sends its own signal, an efferent signal, which again can be a hormone or a nerve signal, to the effector, number three. The effector is a structure that receives the signal from the control center and then produces a response. There can be two main categories of this homeostatic feedback loop. It can be a positive feedback or a negative feedback. The negative feedback reverses the change in the controlled condition, whilst the positive feedback strengthens or amplifies the change in the controlled condition. So let's look at two examples, one for negative feedback, which is gonna be temperature, and one for positive feedback, which is gonna be birth of the baby. So let's start off with a negative feedback loop. So the stimulus here is a hot temperature, which causes the control condition to change, to heat up. This is picked up by receptors on the skin, which sends a nerve signal to the brain. The brain makes sense of that signal and then sends another nerve signal to the effector, let's say the sweat glands on the skin, which produces the response, which is sweating. This then causes a negative feedback, which ultimately reverses that first condition change, which was the heat. So that sweating brings it down and cools the body. An example of a positive feedback, the birth of the baby, the stimulus is the head of the baby pushing on the cervix. So the change in the control condition is stretching of the cervix. This is picked up by receptors in the cervix, which sends a nerve signal to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus makes sense of that and sends a hormonal signal, oxytocin, to the effector, which is the uterus. The response here is to contract the uterus. So this is a positive, so it's actually gonna strengthen that initial change. So that causes more pushing, therefore more stretching, and this keeps amplifying and amplifying and amplifying until the baby is born and the stimulus is removed and the control condition goes back to what it originally was.